Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop, and today for Fashion Friday, I have the first of what I hope will be a series of videos here on my channel, and I am titling it The Best Dress for Your Body Type. And today we're starting with yours truly. <laughs> Each video, I'm going to have a different person go to a store, whatever their favorite store is, and pick out a bunch of dresses and then try them on. And we're going to talk through why the dress does or doesn't work or how the model could maybe make it work better for them. Local friends, if you would like to participate and help me out on my YouTube channel, please let me know and the more body types we can have on the channel the better since i'm the model today i want to tell you guys a little bit about my body type i am five foot five i am comfortable telling you that i am between 160 and 165 pounds i am also an inverted triangle now i have said in the past that i am an hourglass which technically i am because my bust measurement and my hip measurement are about the same and my waist measurement is quite a bit smaller however I also have broad shoulders, quite broad shoulders. So the fact that my shoulders are broad and it kind of goes like this makes me an inverted triangle. My main problem area when it comes to buying dresses is that I'm short waisted. So oftentimes the waist of the dress is not in a good place for me, which you'll see once we dive into the dresses. So let's dive into the dresses. For my try on video, I decided to go to Target because they have a lot of dresses in styles that I really, really like. The first dress that I'm wearing here is a dress that I actually already own from Target. It's a really good dress for me. The length on the leg is a really good length for me. The long narrow sleeves are very good sleeve length for me. The scoop neck is great. It minimizes my bust. However, as I just said, the waistline is not in a great place for me. So how I make this dress work for me is by adding a belt. This belt is also from Target. I think it's about two, maybe three inches wide. As you can see here, by putting this belt around my waist and kind of shoving it down just a little bit, it still covers up where the seam is on the dress, but it makes my overall torso look a little bit longer. This next dress, I was actually surprised at how much I liked it. I am really not good in orange, so the color is not great for me, but the dress wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be when I wore it. It does have ruffles for the sleeve, which is not generally that great for me. However, because the ruffles kind of come in at the side, it kind of forms a cap sleeve, which if you have broad shoulders and big boobs, a cap sleeve is great for making both of those narrower. The length of this dress was not great for me. In general, I look better with either a dress down to my ankles or a dress at my knee or above. This dress hits somewhere on the lower part of my shin, which is not fantastic for my height and my body shape. And lastly, let's talk about the neckline. This higher neckline is great if you have a smaller boob. However, because I have a bigger boob, a higher neckline just makes my boobs look bigger. Let's talk about how to make this dress work better for me. The first thing that I did was I actually turned the dress around, so I wore it back to front, and it had this little button in the front that I just unbuttoned and tucked in and automatically this dress is so much better. And the next thing that I did was I added a belt, which again, brought the waistline down a little bit. It also pulled the dress in a little bit. This particular shape of dress is not great for me. Anything that's sort of loose and flowing on the top just makes me look like a box because the fabric hangs straight down from the boobs, which is way far away from my waist. Let's move on to our second dress. This dress, again, is pretty good for me. The long sleeves are a great length. The knee length skirt is really great. It does have a V-neck, which is much more flattering than a high neck. However, the waistline is a little high and the dress is a little bit boxy. So what do you think I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna add a belt and then it's perfect. Also, do you love Lottie's poses in this video? <laughs> She's so cute. For our third dress, this dress actually surprised me at how much I ended up liking it and I almost bought it. The length, again, is not the best length for me, but forgivable and with the right shoes, it would be fine. Having unbuttoned the buttons, it forms a V-neck, which is great. 
the length of the sleeve is pretty good for me guys the best sleeve lengths are either sleeveless cap sleeve three quarter length sleeve or full length anything in the half sleeve or t-shirt length is not great for me and on this dress the waistline hit me in an okay place but it was the thinness of the belt that was really not good because look what happens when i put on a thicker belt automatically it makes me much more proportionate and i don't know if you can see it on my face but i was like dang i gotta buy this dress moving on to dress number five it's this maroon shirt dress i love this color let's talk about the length of the dress it's okay it would have been perfect for me if it actually hit me at the knee rather than just below the knee but it's not awful again the v neckline great works well for me the belt is actually not that bad it hits me in the right place which is really good and the belt's not as thin as the last belt that we just saw my biggest issue with this dress is where the sleeves fall. They fall right above the elbow and anything from the elbow to t-shirt length is just not good on my broad shoulders and big boobs. If you guys wanna learn more about sleeve lengths and what they can do for your body, I will link a video I did up in the cards. But let's just compare how the dress looks normally to when I rolled up the sleeve. So this is how it looks normally. And this is with the sleeve rolled up into a cap sleeve. Automatically, it makes my arms and bust look narrower, which helps balance out my body. Dress number six is this blue floral dress. Again, really not bad, guys. It's almost there. The length of the skirt is great. Where it hits me on my waist is great. The V neckline is great. However, it's the sleeves that are tripping me up again. I feel like if the whole sleeve had been as long as the longest part of the sleeve it would have been a great sleeve length for me but because it comes up to just at the elbow on the outside i feel like it makes my arms look shorter which i already don't have very long arms to begin with so that's not helpful for dress number seven this is something that is completely not something i would normally wear and after trying it on and taking the picture and looking at the picture i definitely know why the length of the skirt is fine the skinniness of the sleeve great that mock neck turtleneck length is actually not that bad for me with regular turtlenecks because i already have a short neck a regular turtleneck is not great on me but the half turtleneck the mock neck turtleneck is actually not that bad here is what the problem is as you're looking at this picture notice the immense blankness <laughs> of the top of this dress. To me, it just emphasizes one big space for the chest, including the broad shoulders. It's just one big blob. It is not very flattering. If this particular dress had that really trendy, I don't think it's trendy anymore, but really trendy, the mock neck turtleneck and the V-neck cutout, this dress would have been great. Now to make this dress work, I could just add a necklace to it, something maybe V-shaped, and that would kind of help to break up the big blank blob that is the top of my body in this picture. But to be honest, it's not really my style anyway. So for me personally, it wouldn't be worth it to go that extra step. Next up is this blush pink wrap dress. Now I do have to say, it's in the wrong size. It was a medium, it's on sale. They didn't have it in a large, but it's fine. This dress overall, not bad. The sleeve length, pretty good. The hem length, not great, but I feel like because it floats away from my body, it's not awful either. The V-neck, obviously really good. However, it's the waist that I have a problem with. It is both too high and not wide enough. So what do you think we can do? Boom add a belt and instantly i love it so much more let's talk about this dress the v-neck is pretty good the length not my best and the sleeve is also not my best i told you guys i love long sleeves or three-quarter length but that sort of bracelet length sleeve is not really that great for me fortunately there are ways to fix this first of all the sleeves were elastic so i could just shove them up and blouse it down and it was the right length for me also i added a belt which brought the dress in and also pushed the waistline down a little bit and to make it shorter i just 
pulled the skirt up into the belt and tucked it in and used the belt to help keep it there. I don't know that I would want that as a permanent solution. I would probably, if I were to get the dress, take it to a seamstress and just have them hem the skirt. But if I were in a pinch and I had an event that I needed to go to, I would use the solution. This next dress, there's really no way for me to fix it. On first glance, it looks okay. The length of the skirt is fine. The neckline is not bad. It kind of has this sweetheart effect in the front, which is quite flattering on me. However, the skirt is far too narrow and the shoulders are puffed out. Puffed out shoulders when you are already top heavy is not helpful. If this dress had fitted sleeves and a wider skirt, it would be so much more flattering on my body type. And finally, the last dress, and I saved this one for last because I actually bought it. But wait until you see it because you'll be confused and then I'll explain it to you and you'll understand. This snake print dress. You guys know I love snake print to start with. <laughs> I really thought I would not like this dress. It is the wrong length for me. The waistline, not in the right place. It doesn't have any sleeves on it. It just has spaghetti straps, which for one are a pain in the butt because you can't wear a regular bra with it, or you can, but it's gonna show, which I don't think looks all that great most of the time. Proportionately, it's not bad on my body type. It's not like emphasizing my broad shoulders or my big boobs. However, this particular dress has ruffles up here, which kind of add bulk and to have that bulk here and nothing for sleeves, it's not that great. Let me show you the next picture and it'll explain it a little bit better. So good guys, so good. So I pulled my hair in front so you can't see that it doesn't have straps. Immediately I feel better. I feel like I'm more proportionate. I also used a belt to move the waistline and I tucked the skirt up into the belt to a more flattering length on me and guys, I was like, man, I have to get this dress. I didn't and then I was upset that I didn't. And my husband said, how much was it? I was like, I don't know. It was on clearance for like $8 in some sense. And he took me back to the door of Target and dropped me off and told me to go get it. So my plan for this dress is to have a seamstress, cut it off at the knee and use some of that material for wider straps, which will be great because I can wear a regular bra with it that way too. Okay guys, you made it through all of those dresses. I hope you found it helpful or interesting, or maybe just made you think about things in a different way. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what your body type is, and I will try to find someone around me who has a similar body type so that hopefully we can keep this series going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.